Hey, YouTube stackers, Florida stacker back here with you. And the much anticipated 2021 Silver Libra tads are in. I do have a small order in for Monument Metals. Go ahead and unbox that for you in today's video. So stay tuned if you like Mexican Silver Libra tads. We got some new ones to show you. Hey everybody and welcome back. All right, so I got the box open here. This is from Monument Metals. There's actually a box inside the box and remove the paper, casually thrown on the floor behind me. And there you go. So let's go ahead and grab them out. Looks like uh, this bottom one busted out of its capsule. Not capsule, but coin flip here. Yep, came out of the coin flip, but well, no big deal. So we got these five, and I did pay um, $56 and uh, change for each of these. So these are not cheap. As a matter of fact, uh, 2021, any Libertad really, uh, is going to be a little bit more on the expensive side, but they do tend to rise in value as time goes on, meaning if you're not uh, fairly quick at picking up this year, fairly close to its release, you are just going to pay more. So I paid 56. I'm seeing them already for 60. I would not be surprised if they reach 70 by next week or at least a week after that. That just tends to be the way things go with a, you know, highly desired lower mintage silver coin. All right. So, yeah, there's lower mintage stuff out there than the Libra Tads. And, and as a matter of fact, I don't have the full mintage numbers in front of me here, but I will find them and I will link them in the video description section. So if you're curious to know what the actual 2021 mintages are from the Banco de Mexico, I'll have that information down below. I just got to go find it and, uh, and post it. So I don't really consider these Libertads a part of my saving stack. Okay. I mean, they are, but <clears throat> these are, these are kind of like my collection. All right. Let's just keep it the way that it is. I'm, I'm collecting these. Um, you know, I thought about it as I was stacking silver, what I wanted to collect. And I considered getting into American silver Eagles, like, you know, so many other people do and trying to build books and get all the proof ones and the P release, the San Francisco release, the normal release, the West Point, all this, you know, I mean, there's U.S. Mint has really made uh, the American Silver Eagle, not only the uh, most popular bullion, three nines fine investment grade silver option in the world, but also one heck of a collector's coin with all the different releases and the proof and reverse proof and you know the name of the game. I haven't really gotten that deep into the Libertads right now. I'm kind of more just focusing on uh, the one troy ounce ones because they're expensive. All right. Um, no beating around the bush here. You know, some of you guys can go out and buy rolls and boxes and good for you. Congratulations. That's awesome. I applaud your success, but folks like me, I uh, can't do that. So, but I do want to stack Libertads, at least some of them. So I buy, you know, five, 10, 15, try to get 20 uh, with each release. I actually don't have 20 of the 2020s just yet gonna get there i think but as mentioned uh you know these were in the 40 dollar range when they came out and uh they're you know 70 80 bucks in some places these days i'm sure you could still find a few cheaper options still haven't seen any of the 2021 gold lieber tads out i for one i'm kind of happy about that because i want one <laughs> And did I mention they're expensive? <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those things, guys, that you, uh, uh, most of us, at least majority of us here, you know, we got to, we got to plan for stuff like this and, and save for it. And as stackers that also have an interest in collecting, uh, some stuff, you know, whether it be Libertad's Morgan and peace, silver dollars, uh, Canadian, this, Perth Mint, that, um, you know, I got a little bit of everything, really, honestly, but when it comes to the kind of the cherry on top of my 
ice cream stack here of silver coins, the Libertad really does kind of fill that role. So <clears throat> going to clear my throat here real quick and let's get back to it. <clears throat> yeah. So it is morning here. Still kind of waking up. Actually, I'm uh, still drinking coffee. So got five of these and as mentioned, paid $56 and change for each of them. So, you know, over $250 for five Libra Ted's. So we'll be looking for more. I'll also be looking to pick up a two ounce version and probably a five ounce version. And then at some point, I do have the proof 2020. So let's take a look at the proof. Now these are in capsules. It's uh, highly reflective, very beautiful. As a matter of fact, let's um, let's see if we can't grab one of the bullion ones here and do a little side by side comparison. So let's grab, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's a twenty twenty, and there you go. You're gonna get the uh, you know polished kind of mirror like finish with the proof. Coin. You're also going to pay a lot more for it. The proof Libra Tads are quite a bit more expensive than the standard BU ones, like off to the right here. Go ahead and set it back down. The capsule actually shows some uh, imperfections, unfortunately, but the coin itself is beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and set that back down. So, are you guys buying Libra Tads? I know there's quite a few of you here. I'm going to shout out old man Jenkins. Hopefully, you picked out some. Oh, you're a big fan of the Libertads. All right, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, I mean, there's there's air tights, there's there's all kinds of cool stuff out there when it comes to keeping your silver safe. I don't really put a whole lot of uh, of my silver stack in capsules. First of all, they're expensive. Second of all, they scratch. Uh, third, you got to you know you got to buy these big, tall, airtight tubes to store them in. They're bulky. Uh, they're tall, at least. Um, as compared to, you know, your standard mint tubes for holding the raw silver bullion coins in, in rolls. Uh, the Libertads come in rolls of 25 in the BU in the BU form. And I do have one, but it's nowhere near, so I can't show it to you. It's a little taller, obviously, than an American Silver Eagle tube. And I like to keep things in tubes of 20. But uh, regardless, we're going to go ahead and put these Libertads in the coin capsules. One of the few coins that I do, as mentioned, like to collect... Um, you know, maybe someday I will part with these Libertads, but there's a strong chance that these are going to be, uh, you know, my son or my daughter's uh, coins here in the future. So the Libertad <laughs> fits right into the American uh, Silver Eagle coin capsules perfectly. So if you're shopping for a coin capsule for your one ounce Libertad, just by the ASEs. Um, I like the the guardhouse ones. I've mentioned that a few times. Uh, nothing wrong with the air tights. It's just uh, I'm kind of a creature of habit. And once I find something I like that works, I'm usually good. I don't um, I don't tend to keep trying. I just kind of move on. And uh, guardhouse works for for all of my coins, and um, I like them. They're easy easy for me to um, open and close. And uh, they store real nice. So there you go, guys. You can just go ahead and run out and grab some American Silver Eagle coin capsules and drop your one troy ounce Libertads. Now, I do have also access to the correct now. I haven't done it yet, so I'm slacking here, guys. This is not the correct coin capsule for the two ounce Libertad. It's a little big. Um, one of my subscribers, thank you very much. You know who you are, uh, wrote in and uh, actually sent me a link to purchase the correct capsule, the one that the Mint, I guess, provides, Mexican Mint. Um, just like all things Libertad, though, my friends, they're $20 each. <laughs> yeah, that's right, 20 bucks for a coin capsule. My goodness, you could buy you know, really two silver half dollars for, for that. But um, that's how us stackers think, right? You know, you're out shopping. You're like, oh, man, I could get... I could get a roll of eagles for that, or oh man, I could buy five five ounces of generic silver for you know what you want me to pay for this. It's just the way things go. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. The 2021 Silver Libertads. Um, you know, I don't have too many. There's there's some other tubers out there that uh 
they've got a lot. Um, and you'll see a lot of cool stuff, obviously, with the 2021 Libertads coming out uh, from some of the other channels here soon as these get start, you know, being delivered to uh, mailboxes across the United States and in Europe, some of our European stackers, maybe even down in Australia. But um, here they are. So Monument Metals had them. Not sure who's got them now. I'm hearing that uh, Silver Gold Bull might have them. Haven't looked myself. But um, they're just going to get more expensive. So if you're on the fence about the 2021 Silver Libertads, just do yourself a favor. Pull the trigger now. Um, or don't, because if you wait much longer, they're just going to get more expensive. And uh, silver demand is high right now. Premiums on everything is the highest I've ever seen it. So you're going to pay more for for those Libertads as well. All right. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate you tuning in today. Five more ounces of silver for the stack. I'll go ahead and get the other ones here in the capsules and in that airtight tube and back in a safe storage location. In my next video, I'm actually going to review Hero Bullion. My first order from Hero Bullion came in a couple of days ago. Uh, my second order from them is actually supposed to get here today. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so that next video, we'll do a small unboxing. Got a little 90% um, from eBay and a couple of uh, Bullion coins from Hero Bullion to show you. So have a great Saturday, everyone, and we'll see you soon.